Oh, Devin Bartolotta spoke to students eager to see the team start anew. Devin? That's right. This is a homecoming for Loxley, who coached here two times, totaling 10 years, and he's being welcomed back to College Park with open arms. Locked in on Loxley and looking toward a new era, the University of Maryland announced Michael Loxley, the newly minted top assistant coach in the country, will become the Terps' new head football coach. And what we found when we asked students about it in College Park. Can I talk to you about the new head coach? They're certainly talking. I'm really happy. I think it was the best hire they could have made. Yeah, I think it'll definitely be something positive. It's not a good thing going into job interviews and knowing that what they're hearing is negative. Loxley has a great track record as a recruiter in the area, and I think he's really going to do big things in turning around the program. Loxley inherits a team in desperate need of some good PR. Former head coach DJ Durkin was fired in October, five months after 19-year-old offensive lineman Jordan McNair collapsed of heat stroke at practice and died. The program swirled in controversy all summer after allegations of a toxic culture within the program came to light. In a press release from the university, Michael Loxley said he's thrilled to come to Maryland, adding, quote, Our goal is to create an atmosphere and environment focused on the total development of our student athletes. If Coach Loxley can recruit how we think he can, like, I, th I think there's nothing stopping this program from becoming one of the elite programs in the Big Ten. This campus of almost 40,000. I think it's going to be really exciting having a familiar face um, come back to campus. Watching closely. Now, we do expect to hear more from Loxley tomorrow. He scheduled a press conference here in College Park at 11 a.m. Reporting live tonight, I'm Devin Bartolotta for WJZ.